Hi guys, so quick before the video starts, I just want to get, say thank you all so much for 100 subs. But now let's get right into the video. You will have to have Sapphire plugins and Universe plugins to do this FX. I will leave them both in the description. I will also leave a tutorial link if you don't know how to download them. But let's get right into the video. So the first step is to sync up your clip with the music and how to do that is you need first press on your music, listen for it and find the beat drop you want the kill to happen. I already found it, so I have already marked it. But so you can do it how to mark is just press on music, then you just press M on your keyboard. I will don't do that because I already done that. As you see I have a blue marker right here. And now we need to mark the shot of impact on the clip too. So we press on the clip, find where the red dots appear. That's what's called shot of impact when the red dots appear. Press M. And now if you have this magnet tool on, you can just press on it. It should be really easy for you just to line up all the markers. So now if you listen, it should be really synced. And yeah, it is synced. So now we will need to go to over to the time remapping. And how to time remap is just press Ctrl R on the clip. Lock the music before you start doing anything. Then you line up your red like cursor with the, all the three blue marks. Then you go four frames to the right. You can use your arrow keys to move. So one, two, three, four. Right there. Press on this hundred percent thingy here. Press add speed point, and you sh this should appear. Then you find where you pull up the shotgun last time. So not here because here he pulls down the shotgun again. This is the last time he pulls out the shotgun before the kill happens. So we'll put a speed point right there. And then you need to put the speed point right in the middle of both of these uh, two speed points. It don't need to be exactly in the middle, but nearly in the middle. So I think this looks barely in the middle. So just do the same, add speed point. And now you should free, see three like white things right there. So that and now we need to switch so it goes slower faster slower so how to do that is press on this we can zoom a bit in a bit so you can see better you press on this as we did when we put it at speed point but instead of pressing add speed point we will press change speed we'll switch the first to 50% so that first then we will go over here, do the same, change speed, but here instead we will switch to 200%, so it should look like Now we sync it and everything is good, we will, we want a bit like slow-mo at the end, some of you will want that, some will not want that, but I will show how to do that, you just add a speed point anywhere, press on this, change speed, 50%, then you just drag this to where you want. So now it's sinking in really good. Yeah, I'm happy with the time mapping. So now we are we are done with the time mapping. Now we can press on the X here or just press Control R again. I really suggest you learn all the shortcut on your keyboard because it will help you out a lot in the future if you are gonna add bigger montages. So yeah, now when we're done with that, we can stop making the effect. So how to do the build up effect is now you need to take your cursor to the shot of impact. And as I said in the beginning, there it's where the dots appear. It won't be at markers longer because we have time map it so it will have changed places so i found it this is the first frame 
it appears. Press on the clip, press Ctrl B, that will split it, or you can use this tool, but I'll like to do that. Then you can make that. Then you need to find the place where the slow move starts. And I, as I said in the beginning, that's where the, pull, the player pulls out its shotgun the last time before the kill happens. So as I know, here is the last time, so then I know that the slow move started here. So I'll just press Ctrl B right here again. And then I'll press on this little part that we have cut it out. Hold Alt and drag it up so we make a copy out of the same clip. So now it should look like this. We can make this a little bit smaller so we have, we have more place to work with. It. So as you see, then we need to go to the clip under this. So right here. Press D. That will disable the clip. And then we just press on this clip and go over to the Fusion tab right here. And inside of here you need to press on this little square right here. That will make it that look like this. And here you just need to be creative. You need to be on the first frame of the whole clip. And then manually you can drag out this. Smaller. Manually drag bigger. Like this. Change the rotation. This. And that looks pretty good. Be sure that you're on the first frame. So keyframe the first frame when you have done everything this. Keyframe everything. And then you drag height so it fills out the whole screen. But as you see, it doesn't fill out the whole screen. So we will need to do that manually too. We will just drag it out like this. Then we will hold control so we can zoom out a bit. And now we see the full screen is inside. And now we will go to two thirds of the clip with this red, keyframe it, this, so it goes like this, then we forgot to keyframe this. Every time we keyframe something, you need to keyframe all of this, right? We'll change the rotation a bit, so like this, and then we will go to the last frame and from the last frame we will go with our arrow keys three frames left so one two three keyframe everything change the height to here then you go three frames right again so you are on the last frame keyframe everything change the angle so it goes like that but then we just need to fill out the whole screen again. So now our effect is done. If we go here, it should look. It looks good, but we need to add some shadows now. Now we can press on the clip under again, press D, and now you won't see the effect. And that's what we're gonna fix right now. And as I said, the like effect I made, you don't need to make exactly what I made. You need to be creative, as I said. So now we press on the median, control, space. You will need the software plugins for this effect. So I'll leave a link in the description to Sapphire plugins. It's really easy to download. So yeah, just download them. So you, then you need to search up S underscore drop oh dr and here it pops up s underscore drop shadow add and here it is and now if we go a little bit further as you see it's a little bit you can see some blacker and we want it to you so you can see it much like more so what we will do first is press on the drop shadow Go to the shift X, writing zero, zero, and that looks good. Now we'll make it bigger, so drag the shadow up to see up a bit, so maybe like that. Shadow blur, I feel like that looks pretty good. And now we already see a big difference. 
And what we will do, we, now we will drag this to the side because we're done. Go to the clip that's under it. You won't be able to go to it if you have this over, so just drag it to the side. Go to it. Go to the color tab. Drag down to the set saturation to about 10. Shadow down to zero. Drag this here again. And as you see, it looks really good with the time mapping too. So it looks really, really good now, I think. Now we will do the kill effect, like the effect that's gonna be after the build up. So we'll go to open effects, then maybe like just search up glimmer. I will do something fast. Now, uni glimmer. I'll just drag this on here. But 15 likes on this video, and I will do a uh, video on only like good kill effects but this is a really good you need to universe plugins for this but yeah this was something fast i will do so i will show you now just how fast you can do a good effect so i will just go to first frame keyframe the thread of short go maybe like 20 frames or just how much i feel i feel like here is good here somewhere keyframe that go to end it will be really laggy, but that looks pretty good. I feel like pink doesn't look good with these dark colors and then just pink, it doesn't look good. So maybe make RGB. That looks really good. So now if you see, it looks really good. If your time is a little bit laggy, this is hard effect, so it will be laggy. You can change the proxy mode to hard resolution or quarter resolution, even if you have a bad PC. And make this to smart. It will be a little bit laggy when you just switch it, but it should be much better in the long run. But hope you enjoyed the video. As I said, 15 likes, I will make a tutorial to best kill effects and yeah, peace out. Drop a like, drop a sub, help your boy out. And once again, thank y'all so much for 100 subs. It's